here. Today I'm going to teach you about your notes on the D string, on your violins, holding down the strings with our fingers. So to start, I want you to hold up your left hand for me. And you're going to wiggle your thumb, finger one, finger two, finger three, finger four. Review that one more time. We have our thumb, then this one, our pointer fingers, finger one, finger two, three, four. Now you're going to take your left hand and you're going to put it underneath your violin just like this and hold it. Try that. So lift it, put it underneath, your thumb goes on the back and your first fingers will be on the front just like this. When you put your thumb on your the back, you want it to be right at the top there. You don't want to hold it really tight. Just keep it lightly there. Now, you see how your violins have three stickers on them. They might be different colors than my stickers, and that's fine. But they're for each of your fingers. One, two, and three. The way that it works is you hold down the string on those stickers, and it changes the way that the D string sounds. So, for example, Here's just D. This is open D. If I put my finger on the first sticker and I hold down the string, listen to how it sounds now. If I put down two fingers, and if I put down all three fingers, you hear how it gets higher with every finger that I put down on the string. So go ahead and put your fingers on those stickers and hold down the string. Now, you want to use the very tips of each finger. So if you have long nails, you are going to have to keep them short enough. You can hold down those strings. So take all three fingers, one, two, and three, and put them on each sticker that you have, your left hand, and roll your fingers. Can you tell how mine are rounded? And hold down the stickers. It's you've got to hold it pretty tight. And then just use your right hand to strum the D string. Try that. So hold down all three stickers and strum. Now, if you aren't squeezing tight enough with your left hand, it'll sound like this. It won't make any sound at all. So you have to squeeze it pretty tight. Now, I'm gonna warn you now, holding down the strings is gonna hurt your fingers at first, just because they aren't used to holding down the strings. But don't worry, that won't last long. You're gonna get what's called calluses on your fingers. And don't worry, nobody can see them. It just means that the skin on your fingers gets a little bit tougher, so then it won't hurt anymore. So take all three fingers and set them on all three stickers and hold down that string tight. And that is your G note. So if you look in your books, song number 10 is called Let's Read G. So let's try that one together. So. Finger one on the first sticker, finger two on your second sticker, and finger three on the third sticker. And hold the string down pretty tight. Here we go. Let's read G. One, two, here we go. G, 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 G. Now, don't forget that we're strumming on the D string, right? So the second string from the top, the same string that has those stickers on it. You don't want to hit the other strings. Let's try that one one more time. Make sure that your right hand thumb is on the D string, three fingers on the stickers. Here we go. Song number 10. One, two, here we go. G, 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 sh, G. G, G, sh, G, 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 G. Good job. Now, if your fingers are hurting, you can see I have marks on mine even, so you might have marks on the tips of your fingers. If they're hurting, take a little break and come back to it later. It's better to practice in small chunks rather than all at once or your fingers are gonna hurt. G, 
and then you're gonna lift up your ring finger or finger three. So you're gonna have down finger one and finger two on the sticker that's closest to the peg and scroll and the second sticker. And we're still using the D string here with our right hand. This is F sharp. So look at song number 11. It's a song using F sharps. Here we go. Let's read F sharp. One, two, here we go. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Shh. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Shh. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Let's go on now to song number 12. This one has G and F sharp in it. So remember, G is three fingers down. F sharp is just two fingers down on the D string. So let's go ahead and try lift off. One, two, here we go. G, G, G. Shh. F sharp, F sharp, F sharp. Shh. G, G, F sharp, F sharp, G, F sharp, G. Got it. Let's try that one again. So remember, G, you have to hold down three fingers. F sharp, you lift up this finger, the one furthest away from the scroll and peg. So let's try lift up. So all three fingers down, right hand on the D string. One, two, here we go. G, 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 lift your finger, F, 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 put your finger back down, G, G, F, F, G, F, G. You're doing great. Don't forget, if your fingers are getting a little sore, just shake them out, take a little break, that's fine. But let's move on together now to song number 13, On the Trail. This one has a lot of switches between G and F, so practice that a few times. Just G to F to G, lifting that finger. Song number 13, On the Trail, starts with G. So all three fingers down on those stickers, hold it down tight, and get our thumb on that second string down, the D string. Here we go. One, two, here we go. G. G, F sharp, shh, back to G. G, G, F sharp, shh. G, G, F sharp, F sharp. G, F sharp, G. There's a repeat sign back to the beginning. G, G, F sharp. G, G, F sharp. G, G, F sharp, F sharp. G, F sharp. G. Great job! Now the last note we're going to learn today is the E note. So we know G is all three fingers down. Lift up that. We have F sharp. Now E is the easiest note today. That's why we saved it for the end. And it's just your first finger on that first sticker, the closest one to the scroll and pegs. That's E. So try and play a few E's now. E. Let's try song 14. Let's read E. One, two, here we go. E, 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 sh. E, 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 sh. E, 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 E. Are you ready to put all the notes that we learned today together? Here we go. In walking song, that's exactly what we're going to do. So the first note is the G note. So remember all three fingers, put one on each sticker. Here we go, song 15. One, two, here we go. G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, F sharp, E, E, F sharp, F sharp, G, G, G. Repeat. G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, one, E, one, F sharp, two, back to E, one, 
E, E, F sharp, F sharp, G, G, G. It might help you if you say each note that you're playing when you're playing it too. Great job though.